drones have skyrocketed in popularity over the last year or two, but did you know that people are racing them now? They're being engineered to fly upwards of 100 miles an hour. I've heard that it's sort of like playing a video game in real life, and I love video games. So I found this race that's coming up in a month. I contacted the organizer, and he's giving me a chance to enter the race and even help me assemble a drone. And I'm headed uptown right now to meet him, get some of the parts, and see what the deal is. My drone flying experience is pretty minimal, and I've definitely never flown a drone using FPV goggles. Good morning, good morning. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you doing? What's up, Keith? Randy. Hey, Sam. Hey, what's up, Sam? Nice to meet you. Guys. Right now, we are in Randy's workspace, and Andy here, both of them are drone enthusiasts who have been tinkering with drones for a really long time. Bullet connectors and like screws of different lengths, speed controllers. These are three inch propellers for the little guys. Uh, liquid electrical tape. What? This is magic. Oh, this is pared down bare bones purely for speed and racing. Uh, that would be something you would race indoors. That's kind of big. Wow. Thing. I want to really race indoors. Though. This has three propellers. This has four. Um, the more blades you have, the more bite. <laughs> Slightly less responsive, but they grab the air more. Oh, this thing can flip. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, easily. These are FPV goggles. Basically, it's just video goggles. I mean, like they're not 3D. They're not VR. This thing has a zero latency transmitter or very small latency. Wow. What is it, like very 0.9? Low. Wow, that is really in real, real time. That is a direct feed. How long does battery last with these things? Depends on how aggressive you fly. You okay. know what I mean? I can usually get about three to four minutes on this oh, that's flying it. very aggressively. Oh, yeah. If you fly But you're going probably 50, 60 miles an hour. Right? This is a baby beginner little tiny drone that really effectively weighs nothing. Um, it's, uh, you know, obviously meant to just fly indoors, but a good way to start. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is very difficult. Uh, so this is pitch and this is roll. Like look left, look right. And then right stick, forward makes you go forward, Got backwards it. makes you go backwards, right makes you slide right, left makes you slide left. So Andy gave us what is effectively the frame of the drone, but I still need the motors, the flight controller, the power distribution board and the ESCs, the video transmitter and the FPV goggles, the camera, props, and of course the controller. I have my work cut out for me. I think the, the first thing I'm gonna do is buy one of these off Amazon and learn to fly like in the office with one of these because it's effectively the same thing, right? This has no GPS. Get the rest of the parts, assemble the drone, and then practice, 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 <laughs> practice, practice, practice. And hopefully be competent enough to compete in the Liberty Cup, which is the drone race. Let's see what you got. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. Randy, thanks a lot, dude. Yes. You got it. I'll see you at the race. All right, best of luck. Thanks, Andy. Sure. All right, thanks a lot. I really thought it was gonna be way easier. Like, oh yeah, drone racing, you just you know put some components together. There's a lot that goes into this, and you know, I've got the, the basic kit, but there's so much that goes into making a custom drone. So I just purchased this mini drone from Amazon. It'll be here in a couple of days. I need to practice with something here in the office. And when I get that, I'm going to unbox it. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Mashable so you get all of our videos in your inbox and the next episode of this installment will be right here.